Good morning, Quadcopter101. What I got for you today is a review of the new do-it-yourself building block drone. Look at this little thing. This thing actually comes as a kit with these Lego style connectors that you build the quadcopter up from a kit. Now, don't be discouraged. Even a kid can put this together. It took me about 10 minutes to pop, pop it all together. And the instructions for it were surprisingly clear on how to do that. I, I admit, you know, they, they had good instructions. But with that in mind, I'll include, I included a documentation how, on how I put it together in, in photos. And I'll include that documentation at the end of this review. But again, it took me about 10 minutes to put it together. This thing is very inexpensive, folks. Very inexpensive um, because you build it as a kit. <laughs> like I said, it's very easy to put together. Now, uh, it is powered by a little 300 milliamp per hour battery that's in here. You change it by pulling this. Uh, here, let me put this here on the ground. <laughs> you pull out this sway bar and you can remove the battery and replace another battery in there. Um, it think, I think it'll hold up to about 500 milliamp per hour in, or larger batteries in that area there because there's a lot of space left inside there if you can see inside there where the battery goes. So you can use larger batteries for longer flight times. Again, this one in particular comes with a 300 milliamp per hour. I guess they want to keep uh, the weight down as low as possible. Now, I was flying this around in the house at home and I was surprised it actually flies very well. And I'll try to demonstrate that here today. But again, here's the quadcopter. You build it yourself. Now let's go over the controller. This is the, the included controller with it. It is a manual flyer. It doesn't have altitude hold. So this is your throttle. This is your yaw. This is your pitch. And this is your roll. Uh, this is the right buttons for beginner, intermediate, and expert. Now, the instructions didn't say it had flips, but it does. You activate the flip button by pressing this here and then telling which direction to move, do its flips. And also the instructions didn't mention anything about headless motor one key return, but it does have those. And this is your one key return here, and that activates it, and then you t it'll do its uh, return home. And if you want to activate headless mode, you press this button here. So it has both of those features. So again, very simple quadcopter, very easy to put together. Uh, and before we go for a flight, I wanted to show one thing. It has one limitation. Let's fire up the quadcopter and I'll show you what that is. Turning on the transmitter, binding it to the quadcopter, just giving it a little throttle. Turning off the transmitter. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, 1007. It'll go on forever. In other words, there is potential for flyaway here if you fly too far and fly out of the range of this transmitter. So you want to keep this one close, folks, especially if you're flying outdoors. Rebinding, and I got control again. So let's take it to the air and show you how it flies. Hope you enjoy this flight. Tr uh, trim it. There we go. So stable once you trim it and I'll show you how you I'll show you how it flies as you can see here it can actually fly very well this is beginners rate how about flips no, no I, I'm wrong it, it beeps like it wants to flip but it does not flip okay headless mode Headless mode works, as you see here. Headless mode direction is that way. Turning off headless mode. And going off that way, and we're going to select one key return. And here it comes back. One key return does work also. We'll send it out again one more time to show you that. One key return. And here it comes back. Okay, let's go to a higher rate. Intermediate rate. I'm surprised it doesn't do flips. <laughs> but yes, very maneuverable little quadcopter. Is there a higher rate? No. Beginner and intermediate, so we'll fly it around in this rate. Now, since it does have potential for flyaway, I am going to keep it close. <laughs> Wonderful little quadcopter, especially for kids. You know, they build it themselves and then fly it. And it's not expensive at all. I believe the total cost with shipping is under $20. So, in effect, a great little quad and a great flyer.
butt, no flips. Let's have headless mode again. Let's do that again. Why do people want to use headless mode? Well, if you have problems maintaining orientation, you don't have to worry about that with headless mode. See, this is always going to be back. This is always going to be right. That's always going to be left. No matter which direction the quadcopter is pointed. <laughs> See? So that's the idea of headless mode. Mainly used by beginners, but it be can become a crutch. I don't recommend, you know, relying on headless mode only. You eventually want to learn orientation just by the quadcopter's movement alone. And what I mean by that is if you press forward and it moves to the right, just turn to the right and the quadcopter will come back to you. If you go out of distance and you press forward on the pitch control and the quadcopter moves to the left, just turn left until the quadcopter stops moving and it will come back to you. So that's how you maintain orientation, just by its movement. You don't have to rely on color cues, in other words. <laughs> Wonderful little quadcopter. It really is. I, I kind of like it. Let's leave it here so you can see it. And go. And a 300 milliamp per hour battery is more than enough to fly this thing. You know, I wouldn't recommend throwing 500 in there. It's going to just make it a little heavier and it won't fly as well. Get a little 300, 350 and you're good to go with white low C connectors. Very common batteries. You can find that battery just about anywhere. For a couple bucks, don't spend more than two or three dollars for the battery. <laughs> in other words, very cheap because it's a very common battery. A lot of quadcopters use that type type of battery in this size. It looks pretty cool against the blue sky. <laughs> Set it up again and show it against the blue sky. Thumbnail time. <laughs> Let's turn it this way. You got a thumbnail this way. Okay, that light's starting to blink. There's a single light on the front there. I don't know if you can see it, folks. But the little red LED on the front. It's one LED it's got, and it's blinking. So I guess we're getting close to this the battery of this quadcopter and yes the throttle is increasing to keep it in the air and that's its flight time so again this is the do-it-yourself drone actually fun little quadcopter very nice I like it so quadcopter 101 gives it a thumbs up it's quite cup those motors are hot don't go flying it wait about 10 minutes before you go flying this again folks give those motors a chance to cool down <laughs> okay quadcopter 101 Signing out.
step step two. Je suis mon propre petit merde. 